Procter and Gamble, not a company usually associated with irreverent or unconventional. Menstrual cramp relief, not the category usually associated with cutting edge work. Thermacare menstrual cramp heat patches, not the product you expect to attract 30 million viewers, become the topic of 228,000 blogs and discussion forums, and cross over from internet viral success into pop culture phenomenon, even earning an appearance on The Tonight Show. How do we do this? By doing what women have wanted to do for thousands of years, giving menstrual cramps to men. Phase 1. We invented what appeared to be a real medical research center, the McInnes and Porritt Institute. We placed ads in newspapers across the country asking for volunteers who suffer from cyclical non-uterine dysmenorrhea, aka male cramps, to visit our website and volunteer for a medical study. We made the institute site deep, really deep. Board member bios, company dress codes, and even the document retention policy. We even created a fake internal file sharing network that they could stumble upon. We made the site look so legit that it ignited conversations on thousands of blogs and message boards. And now that we had everyone's attention, it was time for Phase 2, where we validated the idea of male menstrual cramps by rolling out a Ken Burns-style documentary film series. Did Mozart have it? Probably. Thomas Jefferson, Charles Dickens, without a doubt. Ah, uh, Lincoln? Stay with me here definitely had it. Male cramps have altered the course of history many times. Many, many times. More times than I can count. Let's say about seven times. The documentary covered every era, from early man, to Napoleon, to the space program, including ancient Greece. The mighty Greeks faced the Trojans in a war that would decide the fate of an empire. The year was MCCLCCVXIV BC, around April, maybe early May, and there was no Greek warrior more feared than the legendary Achilles, who, when dipped in the river Styx by his mother, was made invincible by the water, except for the part of his body by which she held him. His cramps started with his emotional teenage years, which led him to write his first successful book. Are you there, Zeus? It's me, Achilles. A wonderful book on growing up with the cramps. We launched this documentary content at menwithcramps.com. The documentary received an incredible response. The films were viewed hundreds of thousands of times, and our audience returned again and again over the three-week rollout. Now that they were hooked, it was time for Phase 3. Remember the call for volunteers with male cramps? We launched a final series of films which followed the progress of that clinical study and its four subjects. The study was conducted by world-renowned researcher Dr. Gerhard Fardel. My name is Dr. Gerhard. Ah! And go. My name is Dr. Gerhard Fardel and I'm currently studying cyclical non-uterine dysmenorrhea. Dysmenorrhea. Commonly known as male menstrual cramps. Dr. Fardel's first test subject was Bob the sweetest IT guy in the office. This little girl here, she's called, uh, just, just called the day at the rodeo, uh, full of sass. Until his cramps arrive, and suppressing the pain brings out his alter ego, a pro wrestler named Nuke. Fardo will risk his life to get rid of Nuke forever, and bring back the guy everybody loves. I don't think he's gonna hurt me. I love you. I love you too. He needs us to hold him. You, you're twisting me. Then there was the complicated case of Jersik. A man whose life was in perfect harmony. I am living the dream! Until his terrible monthly curse makes him a danger to himself and others. Okay, the road is irrelevant! Oh, 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 oh. oh my god! It's like a raccoon is in my stomach and my stomach is made out of trash! But Dr. Fardel had a treatment. Jersic, I have a surprise for you in this box. Is it a tiny dog? This is a darkness helmet. A darkness helmet? Put it on! Okay. My cramps! They have been murdered! Isn't it wonderful? And there was Nestor Crowley. Nestor Crowley is 34 years old and about to enter puberty. <laughs> Nestor turns out to be faking it for a shot at fame. Uh, let's talk about this movie. Uh, are there going to be fight scenes? But nothing gets past Fardel. Oh! It's a crime to lie to a former doctor. It's prosecutable by Interpol. And finally there was Irv. 
Irv Grumman, who is a bread delivery truck driver. A man with a unique way of delivering bread. I mean, don't these people go to the store? Uh, this is the way I've been doing it as long as I can remember. His male cramps are so intense that they cause severe memory loss. Who built this truck around me? This is fantastic. Dr. Fartle finds a way to cure his cramps with direct heat. This is a heated white bread belt. Direct heat, the same thing the Thermacare heat patch provides. We introduced our audience to Thermacare in a way that would prevent a brand backlash. First, the site was completely unbranded. When we launched Dr. Fartle's films, we made it appear as if Thermacare had purchased ad space. By the end of the three-week series, the curtain was pulled back, revealing Thermacare as the full-fledged sponsor. Inappropriate? Two left field? A humorous take on a touchy subject that might alienate our target audience? What is wrong with my life? Dr. Fardle and company are happy to report otherwise. Thermacare received 1.3 million video views on iFilm and YouTube alone. We reached out to key influencers and thought leaders who then spread the message beyond the internet. And we were able to do for Thermacare what viral campaigns dream of but rarely ever achieve. We turned the internet sensation into a pop culture phenomenon. Men, are you suffering from menstrual cramps? <laughs> Guess what? You're not a guy! Procter & Gamble, secretly planting a fake documentary about men with cramps all over the web. Male menstrual cramps. Then building a parody website on a men with cramps medical study. All this to sell Thermacare heat pads. The consumer products giant didn't mention the heat pads in the videos for months, keeping a low profile and an authentic indie feel. And it worked. Over 30 million people experienced men with cramps content in the first six weeks. And Thermacare menstrual patches went from the lowest performing Thermacare product to the highest. Men with cramps took a topic which consumers were loath to discuss and created an entertaining way to bring it out into the open. Not just all over the internet, but in mass media as well. Millions overcame the stigma of discussing menstrual cramps to voluntarily spend time with our messaging, returning again and again and increasing their awareness of Thermacare menstrual patches, all for less than the price of a television commercial. I feel so alive right now, like a little kid, you know. A little kid on the verge of curing male cramps. Jerzyk, wake up. Jerzyk. Jerzyk, mach deinen einen Schweiger! Okay, hey, where are we? Where am I? Oh my God!